Holiday greetings to all NATO servicemen and women around the world. This year we have celebrated the 70th anniversary of our alliance. Our solemn commitment to defend and protect each other has brought unprecedented peace to our countries. This is only possible because of the extraordinary work that you do each and every day. All who have served under the NATO flag are connected by a common bond of bravery, professionalism and duty. The men and women of our armed forces who deterred the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Those who brought to the end bloodshed in the Western Balkans in the 1990s. Who fought terrorism in Afghanistan after 9-11. And today you are willing to stand in harm's way, wherever that may be, to defend our people from whatever threat that may come. Including from new threats from new technologies and new hybrid tactics. This year, I have once again had the honor of meeting many of you. Be it training local troops in Iraq, serving on the ships of NATO's standing naval forces, or at West Point Military Academy in the United States. In every case, I have been deeply impressed by the people I met. After 70 years, our lines remain strong. And it is your commitment and your solidarity that makes us so strong. So whether you are on a mission in Afghanistan, Iraq or Kosovo, sailing the ships of our standing naval forces, participating in one of our air policing missions, part of our forward presence in the east of our alliance, or based in your own home country or anywhere else in the world, thank you for the excellent work you do and thank you also to your loved ones for all the love and support they provide. I wish you all a happy and peaceful new year.